Hello, I'd like to show you today my solar off-grid computing system. Um, it starts with my Intel Nook, you know, my Nook computer, that's the whole thing right there. Uh, it runs off 12 volt to 19 volt DC. I have it hooked up um, with this meter in line. You can see right now it's using 7 and 7.2 watts. It's pretty amazing how little the computer uses. It'll, it'll go up to 15 watts uh, when you're really pushing, you know, working on something or a website that has a bunch of apps, little doodads running off the side. But <clears throat> so you have to have a computer. Well, you don't have to have a computer. You can have a regular desktop. And you can use a power supply like this. This is an M4 ATX by PicoFab. And this is takes 12 volt input and turns it into all the different voltages you need to run your regular desktop computer. This is about $60 from PicoFab. This is what I used on my previous computer, my large desktop that now I use at work. So um, the Nook though is extremely efficient. It only uses you know five watts, seven watts, something like that. Just idling around and you can see with my Windows experience score it's a 6.8 let me turn my monitor back on it's a 6.8 so it's no slouch it's actually a pretty fast computer another thing that you'll need to run off grid is you'll need a 12 volt monitor this is a um, Dell monitor and it only uses out of the box it used about 15 volts or yeah 15 watts sorry and i had the meter hooked into it and you can turn down the brightness on the uh the monitor to tune down the uh, required wattage for the monitor so i use this meter hooked in line with the uh the feed for the monitor to tune down the uh the brightness and that lower the wattage to the monitor so <clears throat> you know, one thing that you'll want to do on all your lines is add fuses, and I have a fuse here for the, that was for the CPU, and I have a fuse here for the monitor. Um, but anyway, the core of my system is I have a 130-watt solar panel on the roof of the house, and then it comes down through the attic and comes out the wall here to my solar controller, which is right here it's a Genesun GV10 I highly recommend it it's a fantastic solar controller it charges two 100 amp hour diehard batteries um, this is about the smallest battery pack size that you'll want for complete autonomy uh, to where it'll you know it'll give you all the power you need to get you through cloudy days so um, that 12 volt battery feeds these two terminals and I have meters on incoming power and outgoing power and that tells me that allowed me to size my array correctly in the battery pack correctly um, so positive and negative there and all my feeds go to the computer one other thing is I, I have my computer set up to where it turns off if I'm not doing anything it turns off the screen in two minutes and it turns off the CPU in three minutes. That's one thing you'll need to do and get used to to save battery power if you're running off grid. Um, if I ever want to run on the grid I have my external power brick for the monitor and for the CPU right there. If I ever have you know four or five days in a row that doesn't have I don't have good sun and my battery pack is low I'll go ahead and switch it over to the external bricks and run it off the wall so I don't destroy my my two um, diehard batteries. So anyway, um, one thing that you'll want to do is you want to have speakers that run. If you want to be completely off grid, you want to have speakers that run off of USB. Um, I have these USB speakers and they just plug in right here on the on the CPU, so they don't have any external power requirement. Um, so another thing in my system is I'm running the Wi-Fi router off of 12 volts. This um, Netgear wire, wireless router is a 12 volt device. The phone runs off of six volts, something like that. And I have just a six volt cigarette lighter deal plugged into a cigarette socket uh, like this that's hooked up to the two terminals. Um, then I have my, my mouse is kind of old and it charges up with it, you know, it has, it doesn't have an internal charger, so it has a charging port, and that just runs off of this 
cigarette lighter adapter right here. So um, that's pretty much it. The computer runs perfectly off of 12 volts and if the power goes out I have a computer that works perfectly well. Um, doesn't require any grid power at all and uh, that's pretty much it.